Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about open games and today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and brought Salmonella and Cody Hackens onto the stand and they testified, testified a bunch of, about a bunch of stuff. We brought up the possibility that maybe Sal had gone over to Studio One and then that was quickly shot down. Then we brought Cody up who said he, that he saw everything and we caught him in a couple of lies. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and see, have him testify about what he saw. What I saw. <laughs> yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The Seal Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the Seal Samurai rules. Hmm. Ah, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. What I saw. Yeah, I had my camera with me. So why didn't you use it? He's getting to that. Relax and listen. Um, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. So you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't turn away? Not even once? N no. Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Y yeah, I'm getting to that. Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Phoenix knows that this testimony is kind of detrimental to his case, so... He's kind of just stalling at this point. So the bad guy attacked him first. Y yeah! What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? I kinda don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With a Samurai kick, and a Samurai punch, Samurai chop, Samurai slap. Something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give, don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Rule number one of Ace Attorney, always press harder. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah? So what? Yet you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated that he what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of a murderer uses a samurai slap? Mm. My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order, order. Mr. Wright, how could this be? Could you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Show evidence. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. What? what why did Cody look away from the fight? Here's my proof. What's that? A camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct! Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at that critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. Well, what's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Great job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there's no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. 
Right. Cody, there's only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. R right. Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. Very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera? About why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Uh, um... Welcome to the real world, kid. No photo. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Yeah, you're right, Pops. Whoops. Pops? <laughs> yeah, I called you Pops, you spiky-haired geezer. Geezer? I'm Mr. Edward, and I'm the- and I guess I'm the bearded gentleman. That's what I hate about grown-ups. You're all so self-conscious. Okay, off with the kid gloves. Testify, witness. Testify. Yipes! That was certainly an interaction. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So you did see the beginning of the fight. Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh, I guess the Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving? Strangely? So I held up my camera to take a picture. Why couldn't you take a picture? A new camera has too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground and the steel samurai. That's all that happened. Yep. <laughs> That's all? Y yeah, I told you. I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have once I got that lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? Press him hard. Nah, I definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackens. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye? How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackens. It's one of my powers. Wow! This feels great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. You erased them? Yeah! Why would you erase a picture of your beloved seal samurai victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. Better find a clear contradiction soon, or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. So yeah, after you press statement 5, you'll get this statement. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. But he wouldn't do that, because he gave us this book right here, Path to Glory which basically has every single life performance of a Steel Samurai battle. So why would he immediately erase the photo if he's collecting pretty much everything? Cody! What? Man, every time you say Cody, you followed it, followed it up with something bad. I just want to thank you for giving the, me this the other day. Huh? Oh, oh right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Bazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Cody, 
Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, then I find it hard to believe you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackens. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I, I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all of his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order. Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No, wait. No way! Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually... Yes, I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? There's only one answer. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai... lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. N no way! No! It's impossible! The Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone, ever! Your Honor... The witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Order. I will have order. Witness. I mean, Cody. Is this true? What did you see? Tell the court everything you saw. Uh, I... Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? Okay, okay. Y you're right. The, the, the Steel Samurai fell down, and he didn't move. Or... Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? The Steel Samurai was the victim. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, but the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order, order. So, the Steel Samurai in this photo. You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jackhammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jackhammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. But wait, hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 o'clock p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him go into Studio 2, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. 
But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought that Steel Samurai was moving strange, so it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo of my digital camera. What? Show us, quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. No. Here, this is it. Well, looking at this photo, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia? Yeah? What? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. Wh what? Y Your Honor, may I see the photo once more, please? Certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts that we know as we know him in that photo. Find the inconsistency in this photo. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on the gate? The number? Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor, correct? Ah! I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But, but that's impossible. Hmm? Eh, what's this all about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. <laughs> I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here, in Studio One. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Here, at Studio Two. I see. That would, that would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio 2. Now on the day, on that day, a meeting was held in the very trailer. There was a break in, break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Sal Manila and D, Ms. D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we've heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to the studio before that time. Yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime. Studio 2. Uh, order, order. The defense makes it makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the that the security cart Miss Oldbag saw was the victim Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim. Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jack Hammer stole the costume. I have proof. Y you do? You do, Mr. Wright. Now that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. 
Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there's no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. This court will suspend current proceedings on the current trial for today. Kodiakin's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two, Two, and those in the trailer did not have time to commit the crime. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? You'll find the answer for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm? You will need to re reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. It's the last extension. Very well, court is adjourned. October 19th, 2.47 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Whoa! That was a close one. We were safe by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during that trial. Me too. Uh, really? You both seem so... so confident. <laughs> Maybe I should take up a career in acting? I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. D -d dead Oh, of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation, but I promise you we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right, thanks. 